What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is episode two of The Driver's Side, and I just have one small question. Do you like small white turbocharged cars that aren't fast by any means, but they're still a blast to drive, and they slightly resemble a hard boiled egg? If you do, then you're gonna enjoy this episode. Welcome back to The Driver's Side. <music> If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe and share it to all your friends that like little white egg-shaped cars that have turbochargers in them. Before I continue onto the episode, I do wanna tell you all really quick that I have a t-shirt design that is ready to launch. I've always wanted to start a brand and now I finally feel like I'm in a position where I can do that with the YouTube. So if you are interested in picking up a t-shirt, the CML Media logo t-shirt, shoot me a message on Instagram and we'll get it all worked out. Let's go meet our guest for today's episode of The Driver's Side. Without further ado, let's welcome our guest for episode two of The Driver's Side. Oh boy. Alrighty. What's your name and what do you drive? My name is Jacob. I drive a 2014 Ford Fiesta ST. Alright, let's get the elephant out of the room. How much did you pay for that hardboiled egg? I paid $13,000. Okay, that's not bad. I've seen I've Fiesta seen prices up higher and lower. That's right in the middle, I think. Definitely. Why'd you pick the Fiesta? So it was cheap, um, cheapest one I saw. It's uh, easy to build on platform, not too hard to do stuff yourself. Um, low miles, um, I didn't want something as long as the Focus. A lot of people like that longer Focus, and just the way it looks, I prefer the short, shorter one. Uh, but yeah, so pretty good car. It's fun to drive, low to the ground. All right, how many miles are on it? It's got about 80,000 miles right now. Okay, that's not bad. That was, that's quite a steal for the amount of miles compared. Definitely for 2014 with no miles, I'll take that. We hung out when you picked up the car, so I know this, but tell them what all do you have done to that hard boiled egg there? So, when I bought it, it was already on lowering spring, so I didn't have to lower it or anything. Um, all I've done to it is I've bought some spec D tail lights and some sequential turn signal lights for the side mirrors. Other than, other than that, it's still bone stock. Um, definitely got some plans for it though in the future. Speaking of plans, what all do you want to do to it? So I want to wide body it eventually. Wide body, blow off valve, exhaust, um, just take it around the shows and have some, have some good times. Yeah, that's going to look sick with a wide body kit on it. Oh yeah, about two, in, two and a half inches on each side. What is your favorite thing about owning the Fiesta? My favorite thing would be the six-speed manual transmission. Yeah. Um, a lot of people hate those, but I think they're just, they're a blast to drive. Until you get on a hill, obviously, or you get the people that love to ride your bumper. You, you, just, you can't afford that on a hill. Yeah. You never know when that car is going to roll back, but. Yeah, I definitely miss having a manual transmission. That's, uh, hopefully I can find a manual swap or buy a manual one, but. Definitely. I definitely miss switching gears. It's a blast. Oh, yeah. What is your least favorite thing about the Fiesta? Currently, the brake fluid leakage. Um, anytime it's pressurized, it is just squirt and out brake fluid. Um, <laughs> no fun. I mean, I fixed it once and it's happened again. Um, also, the AC just loves to go out. You hear a little clicking sound in it. I'm not sure exactly what part. Here, clicking sound, AC's out. You have to take out the whole dash or replace it. Just no fun at all. Name two pros and two cons of owning a Ford Fiesta ST. So we'll stick with the first pro, the six-speed manual transmission, and the community with Fiestas. Okay. Um, yeah. Great community. Everyone's super, super helpful. Cons, brake fluid. Second off, just, just that clicking sound. Start that car, it's the first thing you hear. The most annoying thing.
get to her place and to even just hear when you start the car first thing in the morning. All right, this one's a little bit of a silly one. How many Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supremes do you think you can fit in your Fiesta ST? Fit? Oh, easily at least 100,000. 100,000. Easily. Um, people don't understand the amount of room you actually have in that little sucker. So I think you could fit fit a good 100,000 in there. I, I would agree. I think you can fit a lot in there. They look small on the outside, but they're kind of roomy on the inside. So 100,000 I think is a good bet. But they're flat, so I think you can almost fit like 200,000. What got you into cars? Why be a car enthusiast? Um, I think really just when I came to work and I worked with you and a few other friends, we were all just talking cars. I kind of had an interest before, but nothing really start that started it there, talking about cars. And I was like, okay, well, I had a car I had to get rid of. That car was a piece of junk. And I was like, well, let's, let's get into it. Let's find something easy, good build. Let's get started. Why be a car enthusiast? What's your favorite thing about cars? I'll just get to meet new people. Most of the community is pretty cool. All right, last question I got for you before we drive it. Name some tips or advice for anybody looking to get into this platform. Um, go cheap. Don't go expensive. It's going to be your first build. Um, you don't really know what you're doing. So definitely go cheap for sure. Um, ask, ask all the stupid questions. Find forums on Facebook, Reddit. Just ask all those dumb questions. People will be on there to make fun of you, which is fine. Definitely, that's my biggest tip right there. Find people with the same car you've got. Ask them the stupid questions. Ask them all the questions you got. Um, yep. Yeah, I can I can personally attest that to like really any any platform of cars. Do your research before you buy it, where it's been, who's owned it. That's all the questions I got for you. What do you say we go drive this thing? Let's do it. Have some fun. Perfect. Six speed manual transmission, let's go. Oh, baby car, baby car, baby car. <laughs> so excited. Six speed manual. Got it, ladies and gentlemen. I still got it. By creating an imaginary picture. Usually it's something that moves. I love turbos.
All right, guys, that is it for episode two of the driver's side. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video to all your friends that want a little egg-shaped car with a turbocharger in it. <laughs> and thank you for Jacob for being a part of the show and coming on and answering some questions. This was a blast. I finally got to drive a manual car again, so that was a fun experience. Yeah, definitely. So, Thanks for having me, man. You're welcome. Blast. You're welcome. It was a blast. Do you have any questions comments and concerns shout outs you want to give out uh, one shout out I'll, I'll give two shout outs one to my own instagram um jake.st2 follow me there also follow the violet cookie co on instagram i need money for this car so buy some cookies buy some cookies <laughs> you heard it here all right thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one